Yeah. Yes, guys, what's good? You're tuned into Mango Masala, Pi Radio's South Asian show. My name's Gerns, and I'm joined here by Sam. How are you doing? Not too bad, bro. Not too bad. Thank you for having me. So, for any of our listeners that might not be aware of you and your music, do you want to just give like a little bit of background about yourself, how you got into music, that sort of thing? I go by the name of Sam. I'm from Northwest London. Um, I've been releasing music for like six years now, but I'd say yeah i don't i don't know the island kid the brown boy from the lane whatever you want to know me as but i think i think i want to say there there's a specific genre that people know me by but i don't think there is i'm um, capped by genre so yeah i'd just say uh, i want to say a multi-genre artist but i think sam is the sound now so hmm. that's that's what it is really just come on the journey with me really this year is going to be great yeah i mean i definitely agree with you there i think it's like they like say you're multi-genre it's more the sound because i think every track that you're, you're on it's like it's noticeable you know that it's you but it mm-hmm. doesn't have to be like all the same beat or anything it is just the flow and in general like it's got that sam like say sam sound to it so yeah yeah I'm definitely sure. so like you just said obviously we're going to talk mainly about like the future and the future of sam but mm-hmm. just wanted to do like a quick recap because obviously 2020 was a bit of a write-off for a lot of people but i think in particular 2021 i think was a really good year for you musically i mean you put out like so many singles you had a whole project with prit as well so Mm -hmm. i just wanted to um ask on your end how has the past year been um has it been as good as it's looked from the outside some people think you can find your sound overnight and i've released music like i said i've released music for six years and there have been many points in my career thus far where i've thought that yo this is my sound or no this is my sound but then I would, I'd be lying if I didn't say like it is really with this chart chart release where I can fully finally say that yo no I know how I want to sound on every single track and Sam is the sound now and this is what it is um, but having said that yeah last year was defo a great kind of round off of I think the things I wanted to achieve as an artist like I'm no singer I'm no singer but when I'm doing like a, a joint R&B project with Prick for example like I, I know what we're trying to achieve um and i understand music so it's like for me that was always to on a tick off list to work with a female artist um but also to kind of push myself because um i think i'd like to hopefully think i did justice to myself and the project where like there was not a thing where it's like oh sam was underpinned as a rapper or like and she's a singer like i think it gelled very well nicely together and i think a lot of people didn't expect that from me but um then even going through the year like it's me not you that was crazy like I think that did exactly what I wanted it to do and I was glad for the track itself I don't I don't know if people really took time to really delve into and realize I think it was a great way to showcase two different cultures for me um like I've always understood that I'm in a black music space and I'm always been so grateful and I think it was a great testament to the fact that I cool um the genre is such of dancehall, but it's like, cool, we sampled a Tamil song, for example. And um, then the whole TikTok transition challenge going crazy and the whole Tamil thing, how do I have on a criminal? That was, that's really the first time in my music career I've really kind of mentioned any little um, little something about being Tamil or like being that, like, yeah, Tamil or whatever. So I think it was great to receive that kind of like engagement too as well. My thing last year was defo a lot more consistency and I just want to be in people's face and I could do so because I had a catalog and a backlog of singles so a lot of those songs that actually came out last year like were songs that I had like well years ago like in take two for example drowning was like made three years prior like two years prior so like stuff like that I think it obviously it can always be seen as okay they're releasing it now but they were sitting there whereas this year I think a lot of the music you're going to hear are new current and defo the sound that I want to portray for the rest of my career and I hope it's a long one so yeah for sure and I think in terms of like consistency as well I think one thing that I like about what you do is even when you're not putting out singles you're always completely active on socials like every other week I'll see you like jumping on like oh how many um this things can I name in this freestyle that I've just put up and it's just little things like that show like how much you actually enjoy doing it and also like showcasing your talent as well and also you like I've seen you like hopping on keys and stuff as well like so Mm -hmm. it's very clear that 
even though like we'll agree to disagree on that i think you're a decent singer anyway but like <laughs> but like even if you're gonna say that like you yeah. clearly are like musically talented and it's really nice to see that you're Thanks. doing it and you're not just it's that's the thing it's consistency but it's not just churning out stuff for the sake of it as well and yeah. i think that's yeah. the right way to be but yeah coming on to um 2022 cha-cha which you've said now is the sound that you want to embody for the rest of the year and foreseeable future so could you can you put it into words as to what it actually is about it i think i think it's not a genre it's it's not a genre here like, i think like you described it perfectly. I think it's, I want people to be able to know that whatever genre that I jump on, whether that be an R&B soul, um, whether that be uh, an Afro dance hall, like summer hit, whether that be maybe a slow down, maybe like bedroom kind of vibe, like you can still authentically know that you can hear something and be like, okay, that's Sam. So I think this year's therefore I'd advise all my listeners to listen out to more of the musicality behind it. Um, I'll, I feel like a lot of these tracks, like Cha Cha, for example, I was heavy on the co-production. Um, you mentioned like I play keys and stuff. Like I play like I play like quite a few instruments, whether I show it or not, and stuff like that. And behind the scenes, I've always had input on like production or like the mixing my voice. I'm quite hands-on with the process, and I don't really show enough of that, which I'm doing so this year. But um, because of that, I feel like a lot more of these tracks are homegrown in terms of like it's homegrown sound like it's not a simple uh task of me just so going studio like picking a beat that i got sent and then do i'm making stuff from scratch so it's like and i'm part of the process in every single shape way or form so i think that's what i mean like when i say the sam sound i feel like a lot of these songs are like uh better and truer versions and embodiments of myself Mm -hmm. um inside them it's not it's not capped to a genre like i've got hella stuff coming out this year but it's slappers only that's what it is yeah i said it i said it enough times last year like hinting it like this year but it's slappers only like i'm i i'm not even gonna sit here and cap and say oh my god i'm i'm making songs for like for you to listen to on your way to work i'm making songs that even if you listen to on your way to work you want to skank out to or you want to bop your head to and you can't help but get that catchy hook out of your head like i'm i'm coming for that like that's that's what i'm i'm saying speaking about um like embodying yourself through your music as well um, mm-hmm. was that the reason why you chose to obviously do the music video rain is laying like very authentic to you that sort of thing as like your first single of 2022 and of this new era almost yeah 100 i think i've always told people like yeah i'm from northwest london but i haven't really like been and i'm i'm big on community and bringing people together like and i think like they say like home is where the heart is like how have you not even started in your own community and there is such like a brilliant community i've 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 always loved growing up where i've grown up because i always think it's like one of the most multicultural places like it's like and it's always been quite together like i don't see a lot of like cliqueiness and stuff like that so um yeah i think it's just i just wanted to pay a testament to that and yeah just really kind of go with this whole island kid brown boy from the lane thing i think like like i want to i want people to look back and realize yo he's a product of this kind of environment i wanted to i wanted to make a fun american style r&b video but in ends that was the brief that i had in my head um and then it just i just wanted it to be fun man and in the end it was fun and in the end i was gasped because like all the people that you see in the video were just genuinely my friends uh, and they're people that are respected music as well so yeah it's great yeah no i think it was definitely a vibe and i think you can tell that you felt very comfortable there like i think with some artists you'll see them going to like a particular area for a shoot and you can tell like they're basically going to a place that isn't it's it's not for them and it's yeah. not like it, they're just going there for like the atmosphere whereas yeah. you could see how comfortable you were there and around like all your friends and it was just you yeah i think that was a really nice way to start off the year definitely no definitely definitely i don't i don't i don't want this year, I think a bigger part of me is that like, I think I've shied away from it in like six years of releasing like, yo, sometimes there's the artist's version of you and then there's the personal version of you. I think this year I'm, I'm definitely a lot more kind of freer and just kind of like on vibes, just like, yo, this is me. Like I'm, I don't really give as much of a, excuse my language, but give as much of an F about what the perception is. I just genuinely want to like, be me and if that's like making a fun record like i genuinely enjoy making these records and the difference is i think that 
if you really dig deep into the musicality of it, they're still musical records. Like they're not to be looked down upon on like a well, but the the musicality or the penmanship isn't there. They're still there, and I think that's what's that's what I feel is lacking in music right now. Like even the little stuff, like all of my songs this year. I can say this now, are going to have by the outros. Yeah, that was it. Actually, yeah, I thought the song had ended and then it was like 30 more seconds or something just to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, and it's like outros that like, I want, I've got songs that, when I'm giving too much away, they're like big, big anthems. But then like the last 13, 15 seconds is like some acoustic piano with G just going off on vocals. Like I wanted to hit them like, oh, don't expect it. But I think that used to be a thing. Like if you looking back in the day like top of the pops like in the charts like a lot of these songs used to have outros and stuff and now it's just kind of like songs just repeat on a double hook and then they end off i honestly feel like it's kind of gone and come back because obviously back in the day there used to be like two minute odd songs purely for the sake of radio play and then it kind of like you say gone to that era of people being a lot more experimental and now it's sort of going backwards like back yeah. to that being just being short as possible i think yeah it's like even I find it like I'm like most of the songs I'm dropping this year are really short. Like I think for me, the I can't, I don't even know if I can consume three minute songs anymore. So maybe I'll become like a victim of the of the whole society thing, but I don't even know if I can I can consume as as easy as it was back in the day. Um so like yeah, like but yeah, the outro thing for me, that's just it's a, it's gonna be a touch of Sam, I feel like, for every single track. You touched on before about how you um sample the Tamil song for um, It's Me Not You mm -hmm. and apart from that I would say that your music in general although you're obviously you are brown you're of Tamil heritage it's not distinctly Tamil yet I feel like a lot of the support that you get which you're obviously very deserving of comes from Asian stations Asian platforms um, I just want to know, how do you feel about that? Because obviously it's a great thing that you're getting so much attention because you, like mm -hmm. I said, you very much deserve it. Yet for me, like when I look at you, sometimes I, I, I get frustrated because I see that, oh, your music like could be played on these other platforms and deserves like the same amount of attention, if not more attention than other songs that are getting it. Yet some sometimes I feel like sort of like boxed in off into different areas. You know what I mean? Firstly, I think, the support i don't think to ever feel a type of way about any support is a kind of very shallow attitude like i'm so grateful for the support of the asian community i think it is a big thing to even support someone who's um i think the this thing i think the misconception is i think a lot of people think okay cool we're asian we're brown he has to make asian music or he has to be singing in that language or making desi music or making tamil music and i think that like a lot of people aren't prepared for the conversation of why is it that there are no British homegrown artists that are brown, like included in the same conversations of Stormzy, Dave, Adele, Ed Sheeran. And it's like, that is my goal. Like, and I think a lot of people, even I'm, I'm Tamil, and I'll be the first to say, like, I think a lot of people will be like, oh, but, but MIA, you know, I'm just like, like, how many people actually know a whole, like three MIA albums back to back, do you understand? Whilst you still claim like that's that's meant to be your homegrown princess and you're not you're not claiming it, do you understand? So it's like for me, I never started making music on a I want to make this song and I only want brown people to mess with it. I only want Asians to mess with it. I I have I have a goal. I, I want to be global and I, I think I want everybody to be able to digest my music, which is why like I would love to be able to speak like even my mother tongue uh, on a track, but sadly, like that just isn't very me. And I couldn't barely speak it. Do you understand? So for me to sing it, that would be crazy. I hope like one day, like in the future, I can learn and maybe incorporate more stuff. But for me, just me being brown is enough. Do you understand? Like I, I am British, but like I am Asian. That's not going to change. Like I am brown. That doesn't change. And anyway, so I think. Having that support is great, but same way, like you're saying, I think, yeah, like I do definitely think like I make a lot of music that I can hear on radios um, alongside some of these great artists that I look up to who may or may not be Asian. Um, and currently we are underrepresented. That is just the facts of the matter. Like I, it's not a beat around the bush sort of topic. It's very much like, yeah, cool. But thankfully those conversations are changing in a lot of bigger places. And I hope that, I can be part of that shift um, so that it's a lot easier for those 
16, 15 year olds who are dreaming in their rooms right now that they want to do music. And then like, yo, it, their job is a little bit easier and they have to go through less barriers because something simple like, oh, they're brown and they should be making brown music. So that's what it is over there. Like, um, so yeah, I think the narrative shift, I think is changing and it's, it's a great place of music. And what we can really do is keep pushing out. Just saying, but yeah, in terms of getting support from Asian stations, I'm, I'm fully grateful for that stuff. Like I think, I think it's amazing that they can, they can back me. I just hope that they continue to support me and continue to propel me to the levels that I want to be at on a global level as well. So yeah, no, I think that was really well said, and it sort of like touched on maybe the last thing that I was going to ask you, which was talked about this Sam sound for 2022. But what would you say your general aspirations are for 2022 and beyond? In like smaller steps, I think without giving too much weight, I like definitely by the end of the year. Um, we can expect like a Sam headline show um, soon um, in London somewhere, hopefully, um, and somewhat of a tour that I'm kind of planning. Um, that is all we see. It's just like a terms and conditions apply based on how I'm doing kind of thing. But um, yeah, that's definitely a thing. I, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you're going to get a project this year because it is just a singles only campaign. Um, but like I said, it's a slappers only. So if you're in the mood for slappers, then you're going to consistently get slappers. So I don't want any of the songs that I released this year to die out anytime soon. And I don't think they would, um, which is why I'm releasing them. But um, in terms of, yeah, a long-term plan, um, I've got projects there. I've got songs there and um, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. There are a lot of songs, like I said, I've kept on to or held on to because I know they're better suited for a project when I want to dish out more of my personal life or when I want to give a bigger piece of me to my fans and my listeners um because it's a journey so I think this is this is kind of like me even though I didn't really take a break and I was still releasing and that's what everybody was seeing behind the scenes I was really taking a break mentally so and I think this is a big refresh for me and this year is just like all right cool f5 refresh boom we're back and this is how i want it to be um so i just hope yeah everybody can join me on this journey really sweet so if they do want to join you on this journey where's the best place for them to find you and your music so it's at sam noir um on pretty much everything instagram twitter tiktok whatever you use um that's noir that's n-x-i-r-e so sam noir um it should be m if you search me up um, all in caps on Spotify or streaming services and YouTube. Sweet. So we're going to play Cha Cha now. Um, do you want to introduce it for us? Yes. So this is Sam and this is Mango Masala Radio and this is my new track Cha Cha. <laughs> 